Welcome everybody, I am your host, Bad Guy, and this is I Hate Everyone TV, your weekly pop culture digest, where I shall bring you updates on your favorite false idol, social media shenanigans, and let's banter about all the latest entertainment happening around the world. If you're new to the channel, grande, whatever time zone you're located at grand rising grand afternoon and grand evening people we are going to get into some world news stories and the first news story man found in the undercarriage of a plane had frozen to death lord have mercy my man was like a fish finger in the sky no bird's eye so let's read this article provided by the Metro. Let's get into it, people. A man found dead in the undercarriage of a plane at Gatwick Airport died from hyperthermia, a coroner's court heard. The unknown man's body was discovered frozen in the right-hand wheel of a plane that arrived from Banjul in the Gambia. The flight arrived at at Gatwick's North Terminal at around 3.30 a.m. on December the 7th, 2022. The man's body was found around an hour later. He was wearing a dark colored fleece top and tracksuit type bottoms, no socks and plastic style sandals. Joanne Andrews, area coroner for West Sussex, reached a narrative conclusion over the man's death, with evidence suggesting he got into the aircraft before takeoff in the Gambia. The coroner said it's sad he's not been able to be identified and his family advised. There is no evidence how he came to be on the plane, but he sadly died of hyperthermia. <laughs> Sussex police previously issued an EFI image of the man. Here we go. He was believed to have been in his 20s or 30s and information has been shared with authorities in the African country. People, let me say this and I'm going to stand down business when I say this. If you want to migrate to another country, you have to go through the proper way. If you want to migrate to another country, if you don't go through the proper channels, you end up like this guy. People, don't do no stupid shit like this. My man was like this up in the air. God damn! So that's what happened to Pinball! Cut him loose! He's slowing us down! People don't do no stupid shit. This man was doing a con air. No Nicolas Cage. on to the next news story dead indian woman 52 comes back to life in a hearse moments before her own cremation after her husband declared she had died in an accident 
this is like everybody's worst nightmare, people. But this is an investigation for Colombo. The article provided by the Mail Online says, a woman thought to be dead woke up in her hearse moments before she was about to be cremated. Days earlier, 52-year-old Bougie Amma Please, God, am I pronouncing these names right? I do not know. From Bahampa, India, had been severely burnt in a fire at home on February the 1st. She was taken to the medical college and hospital for treatment with burns covering half her body. She returned home but remained it in a very bad state. Due to the family's poor finances, they were unable to get her to another hospital for further treatment. And a few days later, on Monday, she didn't open her eyes. Amos, Amos, husband, forgive me, Indian people. I am butchering your names, but forgive me, forgive me, Lord Krishna, forgive me. But anyway, Amos, husband, Sibaram Palo, believing she had died, arranged for her to be taken to the cremation ground in a hearse. Moving on. He told Times of India, we thought she was dead and informed others in the locality to arrange a hearse fan to carry the body to the cremation ground. One woman, I'm not saying the name, who occupied Amma in the hearse said she had almost completed assembling the funeral prior when she opened her eyes. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Imagine people being caught to life like a Thanksgiving turkey. So what is going on in these social media streets? First up is Diddy. Did Diddy do it? So let's read the headline. Diddy working with Gish Lane Maxwell's lawyer for his 2003 rape and trafficking case. Who the fuck is Gish Lane Maxwell? People, I'm going to do some quick live research. Give me a second. Me, 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 me. I'm on Wikipedia. So people, Gishlane Maxwell is a British former socialite and convicted sex offender. Oh, this is another fucking pedo, people. In 2021, she was found guilty of child sex trafficking and other offences in connection with the deceased financier and convicted sex offender, Jeffrey Espeen. Bloody hell. Anyway, let's get back to the headline posted by Moistplex. The plaintiff is being represented by the same attorney as Cassie in her rape and abuse lawsuit against the bad boy records founder. Disgusting. If did he did it, did he do it? Did he did it? Did he do we need to know? Or if we found out? You need to go underneath hell. Moving on. In other social news, people, John Wick Chapter 4 and Stephen King's It star, Bill Skarsgård, has been sentenced after an under-the-radar arrest in his native Sweden. What the WTF is going on, people? We need a bit more context. And people, I am here like fucking Sherlock Holmes to provide you the context. So what happened was, Mr. Bill Scars God was fined around three thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars in connection with possession of marijuana. People, why can't he just blaze up his chalice and smoke and stay above the wicked? Let this man smoke his ganja. Let this man be with Mary J. Let him be engaged with Marie and go about his way. Moving on. Sexy Red's water breaks in the new music video for Rich 
baby daddy. Oh, Lord knows I dislike this B-I-T-C-H. And I say B-I-T-C-H respectfully. Sexy Red is one of those women that gives me the ick. I'm like, oh, I just shiver. If she offered me some pussy, I would immediately say, no, thank you, madam. But have a good day. And if I don't see you... Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome back, people. Once again, I am your host, Bad Guy, and this is I Hate Everyone TV. And moving on, and people, this next news story is what I call Grandmommy Wants to Get Bust Down. She wants to get bust down. She's old and she needs some loving. Let's read this headline. Widow 83 sent 20 bags to scammers. Widow 83 sent 20,000 pounds to scammers. She met plain Scrabble online. Article provided by the Metro people. We're going to read this and find out what the fuck is going on with grandmammy okay an 83 year old widow lost 20k to romance scammers she met while playing scrubber online Grand an 83 year old widow lost 20,000 pounds to romance scammers she met while playing Scrabble online. Alice, whose name has been changed to protect her identity, why? Because she's a damn fool, handed the money over to fraudsters over the course of 18 months. Bloody how ring her bloody charge into. Get her here in her own, people. Anyway, the pensioner for Oldham, Greater Manchester, thought she had fallen in love with one of them. Oh, my God. Who told her? Who told her he was a 60-year-old millionaire from the U.S.? Grandmommy getting scammed. But anyway, they met on an online Scrabble game, got unwell and seemed to have a lot in common. He suggested they move the chat to another platform where the relationship got more intense and the request for money began. Her brother, David, whose name has also been changed, has spoken about what happened to Alice to warn others. Let's hear what David said. David said, my sister sent over £20,000 to scammers over 18 months. And I think if my wife and I hadn't been there to help her, eventually they would have cleaned her out. Well, David, we all know that. Anyway, the scammers are very clever. They target things like online Scrabble because they know this is a place where they find older women with a bit of money. And it always goes the same way where the scammer starts off by building a relationship, then claims they haven't got access to their bank card and need a bit of money and will pay you back. That's how it goes, David. My sister believes she was dating a 60-year-old millionaire in the United States who was promising to come over and look after her and give her a second chance of love. It was all lies. David, you are a genius and your sister is a fucking genius too. He said Alice had lost her husband a few years earlier and while she had family and a close circle of friends, she often felt lonely, especially during the winter months, which made her more... 
He said Alice had lost her husband a few years earlier. Ah, oh, and while she had family and a close circle of friends, she often felt lonely. Ah, oh, especially during the winter months, which made her more vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Alice had felt she shared a connection with the American who described himself as a widow like herself, a Christian and a father. He seemed to understand her and was interested in her. David first found out something was seriously wrong when Alice went to him and his wife for help. She said, I've been a fool. I've just been to the bank and I've been sending money to someone abroad. He said there had been been different scams over the 18 months that could be from one person or several possibly based in Nigeria people we all know about Nigerians they are the top scammers but moving on back to the article some of the stories they tell really are just unbelievable, but they prey on the most trusting and vulnerable people. Speaking about the American, he said there came a day when he supposedly didn't have access to his card and he told Alice that his daughter needed an operation that afternoon. He put pressure on her saying the surgeon needed payment then and there or his daughter, him daughter was going to lose her leg. The stories are all the same. The scammers get themselves in a position where they supposedly can't access their own money because their account has been frozen. They've been in hospital. They've been in an accident or wrongfully arrested. He said Alice would ask to speak to him on the phone, but he always had an excuse as to why they couldn't talk come on now alice get it together we are coming to the end it's time to wrap this bitch up but thank you for listening to this episode from start to finish if you would like to banter about the things we have covered in this show jump into the comment section if you want to find out more about ihet the link is www.ihateeveryone.co.uk jump on the link find out some shit but you know what i'm gonna say people come back again for more pop culture digest well that is all goodbye